Okay, all right. Guess. Um, so based off where we left off, which was actually kind of cool. Um, let's do play maximized. We can actually see it. We've got this missile that's coming after us. Jump on it. Reprogram the missile by doing this mini game. Watch it blast off. And then it goes back into the background to attack this boss. Boom. Uh, the collider's way down here. Or well, the position, the reference position is way down here at his feet. So maybe adjusting that, but I'm not gonna worry about that too much right now. Um, this isn't even the final model. So now that that's in place, um, I guess I want to try some stuff out, like he's uh, like he's gonna be a a destructible object. Like if I it's this game object right here, I should probably name it. Um, so it has one HP, which means it probably did get destroyed. pause and sure enough it's gone so it got destroyed so I guess I want let's say if it gets destroyed also the 3d model guy gets destroyed so I'll have to link those two up So let's see. Um, what is this? Indentation. Uh, link 2D destructible to the 3D. How's it going, man? Um, version to the <laughs> to the 3D object. Yeah, another adventure. Uh, just never ends. Uh, so it can be destroyed. Uh, and then we'll do some other stuff like. Um, using the turret to also do that. I think that's kind of it that I had planned. We'll see if it, if this is all if this all goes by like way too fast. The lighting's weird. If this all goes by like way too fast. Then maybe. Boom. How's that? Then maybe um, I'll just throw in some extra shit to do. <laughs> So, so there's no actual special script that's happening. So maybe I can do something with destructible. And give it like a game object. object 3D and this will probably almost never get set for anything else and if I die or if I get hit uh, hmm. <laughs> well, 
let's do something. Let's do something. So I have this uh, game camera 3D. Let's do destructible. Is even necessary? Like I'm sure it is. I mean, maybe, because it can do other stuff, probably. I don't know. It's <laughs> yeah. Let's. I'll, I'll do that. then I don't need a reference to the game object anymore. I just need the destructible 3D. Destruct 3D. And pretty much null for the most part. <clears throat> so then when I'm creating this thing, That could just be what this stupid script is instead. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll do that. So I'll eventually ditch this script here. And just do that. And then what we'll have is a structable, structable 3D is just myself. will also be a behavior and do open void update. Um, other than that, everything looks fine. Let's just delete that other script anyway. So then I could just put destructible 3D on all the 3D objects. And it did script. Oh wait, let me jump in. Let's go. Here we go. Ah, stop it, stop it, stop it. There. Nice. And that should just do the exact same thing it used to do. So what I'll do though is Give this game object a name. Name is uh, my name, and just add in like two D generated. Sure. should see uh, busy man 2d generated still get created somewhere no 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 it's not doing it. it's disabled for some reason what why is the oh now it's not disabled that was weird then there it is, okay. How, uh, and the 
point of this <laughs> was so I could also just get hit or something. Actually kind of free you got to install shit on your PC so you're just on a separate com computer right now or what are you on your phone um, this will be what to do to the 3d model when it gets hit maybe you're on the PC oh but you're just installing shit you're not like installing the operating system Okay. 3ds Max, Photoshop. Yeah. So getting hit now. Trying to see like where in this is a hit actually confirmed. I guess if the armor went down or the amount went down. I guess all of this stuff technically would be considered hit. If amount is greater than zero. Technically counts. This method makes any strength attack protect any health even if armor is at one. Yeah, okay. Um, so I can just do some stuff like The amount is greater than zero. I got hit in some way, shape, or form, I guess. Uh, and so if 3D, where is it? Structural 3D. And also hit. Um. If I'm getting, if I'm dying though, let's just do that as well. So then I guess I should do it over here. It is player. Just called die it's as well here. And 
and simple enough I can do. I can just do this. get called <laughs> beforehand transform right, let's see hold on cam 3d I get is where the null reference happened oh because this is this is all happening on awake and so like things are probably out of order so I have to change the script execution order to make sure that that gets set uh, project settings where is that script execution order so game time game camera so we'll just drop in game camera 3d wherever that thing is here just drag it right after game camera. And then we'll know that that's set up. some more health though which I can't even do right so I'll have to add some properties like uh, and then when he gets instantiated that they need probably all the stuff like um, an explosion and all this other thing oh wait oh, oh yeah so it's how this set to zero actually um, and that's not good damage does this missile do? Uh, collision damage a thousand. Right, so let's just make it like five. So it'll take like two missiles to kill him. Set it to five here. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Five. Okay. Okay. Now fuck it up. Five. I wanted to give him ten health. 
Come on, brain. Oh god. <laughs> what? Ten health. Um Is that collision damage not actually do anything? Collision damage. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Um if they're both in the background layer, they each hit each other with physical hit damage, which is the collision damage. Okay. Let's just see what's happening. Damn it. Can't lose the minigame. Gotta increase like the um the forgiveness on that. Okay. So what do we got? Physical hit damage five. Hitting this destructor. And I'm gonna get hit with one. That doesn't do anything. Armor's greater than zero. Health minus equals health, which is 10. He's now 5. It's less than or equal to zero. Do that. If amount is greater than zero, camera shade. If not alive, if alive. So what's happening? Are they boss missile in background? Oh, okay. So they're running into each other and then hitting each other with the damage. But in one case. Can't happen both ways. Because they're not both triggers. I mean, this thing is a trigger. So, are you telling me? Yeah, see, it's not a trigger. So, how could it get an on trigger enter for this thing? What the hell? Oh, is it the explosion? Oh. Maybe it's the hot mess. Oh, I can still be in. Oh, did I ruin the breakpoint? Man. It's gonna be a long one. It's gonna be a long, short one. God damn it. Dude. What render pipeline? Dude. The standard render pipeline. That's what it's called, right? Alright, so. This is actually... Yeah, I don't need all that fancy stuff. Yeah, especially since every time you try to, well, if you don't start your project with the universal or the HD render pipeline, once you add it, holy shit, good luck. <clears throat> you 
you have to run like a, a ridiculous processing script over every single one of your You have to do it through the materials. And then, you know, if you happen to be using some other thing that you got from the asset store that wasn't written for it, all the shaders are broken. It's a mess. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out why collision object is the busy man 2D generator because this thing, this guy, right, let's look at um, let's look at uh Rust. Is there a game called Rust? Um, where can I see the, uh, come on. Is the music too loud, by the way? I feel like it's a little loud. Some level of this, do they tell you all the attached components somewhere? Components, right? Okay. Box collider. Is trigger false? How do you get an on trigger enter for a thing that's not a trigger? On trigger enter is when a thing that is a trigger enters one of your colliders. Right? Don't tell me I have to look up like the Unity API manual. The Unity docs. Um, sent when another object enters a trigger collider attached. Okay, so it's the other way around. Why do I feel like it's been working the one way around the whole time? <clears throat> Further information about other colliders is reported in the Collider 2D parameter faster. Set when another Set when another object enters a trigger collider. <clears throat> okay. It's very misleading name. Unless, I mean, I've seen in the Unity docs things that have been wrong, so. But right now, what's happening leads me to believe that it's right. But, I'm gonna go past this. <clears throat> I'm gonna go past this. I'm gonna hit play. And now, now I'm the, the guy who's not a trigger. And the thing that's entering on trigger enter is the trigger. So it's doing both. Example has two empty game objects called one and two. These objects both have script files, which make the examples work. The first script example one creates a sprite and adds a box collider in each file. The object falls under gravity, collides with example two. Example two has no visibility. The rectangle creates is visible in the scene window. Both game objects before collision. 
Is one of them a trigger? <laughs> Why do you not write this in your example? Creating an object one that falls, it will pass through example two and cause a collision. If object one is moved back to the start position and will again fall. Create rectangle that oh wait, right, is trigger, it's true, right? They put it right here. And here trigger is not true. And both objects report a collision. So like That's dumb. Okay. Has it, I mean, has it just always been this way? So what would I like to do here? I want to know for sure that only triggers are entering here, so... Uh, if the thing that I'm <laughs> getting a collision reported for is not a trigger, don't do anything. And then I'll get around this the way that Unity wants to work. And it'll actually work the way my intuition will work. He expects it to work. Okay, did I remove that thing? Who are we? We are Busy Man, 2D generated, and the trigger is Boss Missile. Alright, and we're gonna hit play. And that's the only thing that happens, and he survives. Alright, now let's turn his missiles back on, which I turned off like a few streams ago. Uh, busy Man, where are you? Events, let's not. What? Enable shoot? So wait, what is it about? Oh, right, I took the game object off. So he's going to be spawning these things. And all those stats remain what they used to be. And it's about to get crazy. Oh, I can probably turn it off. Except now they're, oh, it's not working. It's not working. All right, I want this guy to not be here in the scene anymore. No overrides, okay. I want to enable his creation. Disable this missile. Let's see how far we get. What is happening? His own missiles are colliding with himself. Um, I mean, that's cool and all, but I don't want that. And what, what was null? Something inside the gun? Four seventy two Weapon data. Weapon data can be null. I don't think so. Create weapon from phrase weapon data. Even here, by default, it's not null. No. 
unless the one, unless one of them in this list happens to be. What do we got here? <clears throat> one bullet every five seconds. Explosion. So let me hit play again. And just take a look. At this. So getting hit by a boss missile. Type is enemy. Okay, so now we don't have this issue, but we have other issues for some reason. This whole gun thing that's going on. Um, so something tried to attach itself as a gun. Or something did attach itself as a gun, and that's fine. Where is gun data or weapon data? Damage type is enemy. Okay. All right, I'll have to look at when the gun is getting created then. Um, uh, I'm 
Objects, spawn movement. And then where is that other error actually happening? Object reference not set at gun 472. So is it, oh, B is not set? Oh, because of bullet? Update bullet data with weapon bullet data. What the hell? Um, this is on shoot, I guess. Bullet to instantiate. But it's not a bullet. It's literally not a bullet. Why was this working before then? I don't know. It instantiates the game object, tries to find a bullet. If update bullet data with update bullet data with weapon bullet data. I understand what that is saying. If um, also this, so it's set to true by default unless I'm charging something. Then don't because the charges are defined somewhere else, and then like that do that as well because it's gonna be null and then also bullet dot origin so like all this bullet stuff is like yeah so you know what I'll do this separately like that But then move this thing all the way over here. Okay. And here, the, it's not anything to do with the bullet. So, the bullet actually exists on the thing that's getting instantiated. like a lot <laughs> it's going to be so easy <clears throat> oh right yeah that's right the whole radio station thing yeah because you're gonna want to let someone sit there and just chill right listening to the radio um man in that case you should just do a hundred hours i mean why not right just Just go all out, and um, and then throw in some random number generators, and you know different people will have different multi-hour-long experiences without ever potentially hearing something the same. Uh, movement speed to initial direction. Right, because I was updating this stuff, and so it broke. And of course it's still not working. Um, but also there's two different ones. And it's this one though, right? This is the one that's getting spawned. It has to be. Um... To base movement also initial direction update speed to target um, acceleration all this stuff is set target direction no no there is no target 
target direction with a question mark. <laughs> Why limit it to 10 hours? I mean, it depends on how much you can. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What is happening? These missiles are spawning. However, why are there many of these now? Why does why do three of these things get spawned? Why? What what is happening? Object spawn movement. Well, if you have an unlimited music resource. Is, like, somehow awake getting called multiple times on this guy? I'm dealing with, like, three different bugs here at the same time. Okay, so we got one. And it never happens again. Oh, wait. Awake gets called when you pause the game, or what? What? Is this a, th is this a thing? Awake gets called twice when you pause the game? Is this normal? Let's confirm with the Unity docs. Mono behavior dot awake. Awake is called when the script instance is being loaded. Awake is called either when the active game object that contains the script is initialized, or when a previously inactive game object is set to active, or after a game object created with instantiate is initialized. Use awake to initialize. <sighs> Variables or states before the application starts. Unity calls awake only once during the lifetime of the script instance. That's not true, based on what I'm seeing. A script's lifetime lasts until the scene that contained it is unloaded. So is the scene getting like reinstantiated? That's fine. If the scene is loaded again, Unity loads the script instance again. So awake will be called again. If the scene is loaded multiple times additively, blah 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 for active game objects and scene. Awake is called before the start function is in order initially. Awake is even it's called even if the script is disabled component. Awake awake cannot act up as a coroutine. Use awake instead of destructor. Undefined awake is called once just like a constructor. This is a lie. This is a huge lie. Is it because the whole play maximize thing? It like has to unload the scene and load it back up again. Right, so here it is. There's a hit once. And if I pause here. Right, so my guess is if I would just maximize. And then unmaximize. Oh wait, it's called again. This is stupid. <laughs> complain to Unity to update their docs that awake gets called on shit whenever you unmaximize the game window. I mean, I don't think this is gonna happen in a release, but, but so it's a little concerning. Uh, anyway, why is this thing not moving? Wait a second, it's still... Oh right, because it did... It did pause it. Because I did the, do the maximize thing. So, it won't be object on the Why? Why?
But they have movement. This one. Okay. I specify that it's not a destructible. I guess the prefab has the data on it anyway. Okay. Okay, object spawner. What are you doing to me? Ship movement does not equal null, destroy it, and then add the component to it. Right, but this is the busy man. Spawner. So why aren't the missile spawners fired? Not even making it here. Something is spawning these goddamn missiles. Then what the hell? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because they're not supposed to be bullets or whatever, right? This isn't a bug. This is me being stupid again. Object spawn. Done. Okay. Ugh. So stupid. So stupid. Um, now I'm gonna re remove the stupid guard that I put inside the gun because I, I would love it to actually spit out errors. Um, and I'll just spit out my own error. Um, uh, no bullet. of this guy. Um, uh, check the object spawn weapon settings. check if this works yet, but pretty confident it's going to work. There they go. Okay. And there's the missile. And there's another missile. And they're always appearing in the same position on the screen because I never updated this after I made some changes to how it works. So let's go here. So Y position, don't spawn at top. Uh, set a manual range for the Y position, yes, between 3.6 and 7.2, correct? Um, and then the X position is going to be both randomly 50-50, left or right side. Right. And there's one left.
That's like a weird orientation when it first gets created on the left, though. Because it has to flip around. Grab this thing. I fucked it up. Program success is gonna fire off an object spawn, but it has to set, it has to update the type. Oh, I never updated the title of my stream correctly, but I guess it doesn't matter. So, how do I want to handle that? What I can do is when the boss missile test A. doesn't do a spawn one off screen. I'm so confused now. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, right, this is a different phase. My goodness, shoot in the background, shoot in the background too. And reprogram fail, okay, so yes. In phase three, when it goes off screen, boss missile in background, B is spawned, self, self. And what I can do, because that's spawned based off an event, so I can't touch it directly. I'm gonna remove that, honestly, because it's pretty annoying to have to deal with that. Then, um, This thing is going to have to change its own destructible type. Now, when I create the destructible in Object Spawner, if is destructible, then it does this stuff. Now, I could just make another one, right? And that's probably what I'm going to do, and that'll be the easiest thing. And it'll be done, and it'll work. Now where is that thing? This thing, right? Duplicate it. B. I'm just going to start A. This one's going to be different. Go to destructible. I can't set the type. Um, let's go to the Destructible Inspector. Let's add base attributes, right? Uh, enum. Type. Pretty sure it's name type. Yes. <sighs> type is enemy. Type is friend. All right. Done. Now the whole thing should work. I don't want to jump on the missile. Get out of here. <laughs> Get it. Alright, so 
there goes the missile. It didn't work. It's indestructible, because it, oh right, because it spawned type A, right? All I have to do to fix that is go to the boss missile and tell it boss missile in background B, which I actually have to create another version of this one. B, save, change the prefab to this prefab, save. And then go to B, change its category to B. There we go. There it goes on screen, comes back in, and it explodes. All right, now let's do another one, and it should destroy the actual 3D model. Coming in from the background in really weird positions. I don't know, I'm gonna have to work on that. Like if they go off screen at the bottom. Should probably make it so they just can't go off screen at the bottom. Oh man, these missiles are gonna be the death of me. It was this game that gave me the idea for Ship Raid. Ship Raid. Oh yeah, to-do. My to-do list. Why is it not pinned? Why did it not find the file again? What is happening? Dude, it's just a, it's just a file. Alright, so so this is this is good. Oh the turret, right, okay, so that that that's nice. Um It's not really a bug. Um, okay, so missiles. Probably don't go off screen at too low of a wide because then they come back in screen. Okay, are you using input systems? I am using an input system. Mm. <laughs> Don't understand the question completely. The Metroidvania side scrolling shooter. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you meant. Um, I am using the Unity input system, not the new one. Not the new one. I mean, I don't even think the new one was available when I first made this. So, and then I set up a whole like game controller system built on top of it. So I, I don't want to rewrite that anytime soon. All right, I'll be right back. Coffee's empty. Oh, separate controls in the ship and on foot. That's a whole different system even built on top of that, right? That, that's all in the in the player script and there's all these conditional variables controlling that stuff.
scenes were all over the place just now. Okay. So I'll do the missile positioning thing some other time. Don't want to deal with that because I'll have to think about it. I don't want to think about it too much. Using the turret to also do damage. We'll see what. We'll see how that can uh, work. get a bigger game window here. Um, so let's spawn one of our turret friends. So that would be platform large with turrets on it. So I'll just spawn it right away. And it doesn't spawn because for some reason things don't spawn sometimes. It's not even here. What happened? <laughs> it didn't save. Like save. Sometimes these uh They call these scriptable objects. They just don't want to save. There, it's on. It just refuses to move. Probably because everything broke, right? Um, what kind of movement does it have? Waypoints, and that's not even right. Is it? It might be. Shit, it's gigantic. All right, waypoints is broken. Okay, let's just set it to Bezier. Why is this drawer like broken now? Everything is, everything's breaking. I'm not happy about it. But it is moving. Did it just like? No, that's just a glitch in the uh, sprite rendering. So the idea is I grab one of these guys, and then suddenly I can have like this free aim, free aiming, radical thing. You just need to not move so damn fast, and then I would be like shooting. Should the aiming radical be moving with me? It's a good question. I kind of like it. It makes it a little more challenging, but let's see if we can get that to work. Um, so that'll be in the turret or something. No, it's it's still in the player script, right? That's where the turret shooting controls are. I don't have the player script open, or do I? Too many scripts open. Player, player. This is where magic happens. So, turret, shoot into background. So all I'll have to do, all I will, there we go. So explosion, uh, background shoot, muzzle flash, and then, so what's happening there? Is this thing, what's actually happening? Background shoot explosion. Oh, right, so it instantiates the muzzle flash thing first, and then that basically is what. 
Oh, right, that's just how it works. If not ready, boom, if background shoot, set the timer, instantiate the explosion. So what I guess I can do is create an explosion because explosions have damage as well. They're also, they also damage things. So which explosion is it set to right now? Probably explosion two. It's probably this one. If not, I'll just make it this one. Let me look at it again, I think. Yeah. So, basically just going to duplicate this guy and do the same thing I did with the missile. So this is going to be back end, frankly. And damage destructible types? Let me look at the explosion script for that. Okay. I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be like if the type is in my types array. Yeah. Then it does damage to it. So that's actually pretty helpful. So it's going to damage an uh, enemy. <laughs> cool. And let's see if we can edit the properties of it a little bit. All right, so this is this little explosion properties editor shit that I made. So let me look at it in 2D. Okay, so here in this red zone, the damage is always at max. And then in the outside zone, the damage falls off linearly until it's zero. So I can extend that. So even from far away, it does a little bit of damage. So let's just tighten that up. And I think I'll just make it um, like a decent amount of damage. Like 10 is probably actually good. That'll be a good test because that should kill him right, right away. that going to work? How is it finding it within the range? I think it's just using the box collider. Colliders, right? And it checks uh, where the collider is. Overlap circle all. Physics 2D overlap circle all. Oh, okay, it, it grabs all colliders that overlap this circle. So that should be helpful. Right. Didn't do anything. Let's see if we're. Uh, let's just see. It's not even doing the correct explosion as well. Um, and I guess that's in turret. Barrel roll banter. What's going on, dude? More accounts. More Twitch accounts. This guy's basically like a bot. Self-created bot. I do like that name though, it's pretty cool. I always thought Septo was a cool name. So, I'm guessing it's on the turret, not that turret, the ground turret. 
Right, there it is, background shoot explosion is actually going to be explosion to background front. That might be it. It's not a good brand. It could be. Oh, and it worked, totally. It did some damage and killed him. Uh, let's make it do a little less damage, though. Or I could get, give him more health, but not the missile, but the explosion. All right, so let's do damage. Uh, bro, it'd be cool if there was a silhouette of other spaceships flying back in the background. I know, man, and I have that, and I haven't put it in this level, but it exists. It totally exists. So you at least got the right idea. So, hold on, where is it? See, uh, backgrounds, maybe it's in there. Background objects, look at that. Uh, a silhouette, zero, one, two, three. There's a bunch of different silhouettes here of the different ships. And there's even like a couple of other ones here. They're really tiny, you can't really make them out. <laughs> oh, also my face is blocking all the sprites, so screw it. <laughs> You're just gonna have to believe it. Look, they're right here. Um, now where was I? It's a decent distraction. Um, right, explosion to damage output should be less. Let's do five, so it takes two. So I jump on here, commandeer this turret, shoot him, take that, one, two, and he dies. Done. Pretty cool. All right, um, so that kind of worked. I'll probably want to do something else with that later. Wind down here. I'll just leave it with the music for a bit. Man, the more I hear this song, the more I like it. David Winsans, if you're on TikTok, you should check out Barrel Roll Banter. He's, he's, he's pretty funny. He just... <laughs> I watched that Contra video again, dude. It's, it's good. It's well made. <clears throat> and it was pretty fun. You're just gonna. So that's what you're gonna do, right? That, that's the reason you just created a new Twitch account. So you're gonna actually stream that shit. That makes total sense. Right? I mean, if you're just sitting there playing a game for the purpose of getting footage and reactions and all this stuff, you might as well be streaming, man. This is absolutely no reason not to. That's why I started streaming Final Fantasy VII. Dude. I was just like, I want to play it again. But then it's just like, I've played it many times. By myself. And am I just going to play it again just for myself? Just like, I'd 
rather uh, have some people to talk to at the same time. Because they're not here, they're not around. Co-op Secret of Mana, bro. I forgot that you can co-op that. You never played it? I played... Back when I was like... Uh, 10, 10 or 12. And trying to play like all the SNES RPGs. Yeah, I played it. I played it for a while. I maybe got like 2 or 3 hours in. And every time I played it, that's about as far as I got before I... I don't know. Just couldn't get into it for some reason. Probably be fun, yeah. Still gotta do the um, same, yeah. We still gotta do the um, hard mode, Contra 3. Hard mode. Cause that is just bullshit. We were doing it one day, weren't we? And we just couldn't, just couldn't get there. I feel like it was recently, too. We got to the last level. I remember we got stuck on the... Damn... When that, um... That boss that, like, climbs up the wall. And you're, like, on the ladder having to shoot at it. Like, we couldn't get past that part or something. That fucking thing is ridiculous, man. to run, but the plan is I'm gonna be playing more Final Fantasy 7 today. In a few hours from now. I'll, uh, I'll tweet about it or something. Alright guys, it's been it's been pretty cool. Got a little bit of shit done. Feel alright about it. Take it easy.